Hello, my name is Maribel Alba, and I am a sixth grade demonstration teacher for the San Marino City Unified School District. I'm going to go over our Aries gradebook for elementary and how you can set it up so that you can import from Google Classroom as well as then populate your report cards. So I have my classrooms already built, so I'm going to go over the options. Um, you would just go to add gradebook to create a new one and go to that same menu. Um, do not link gradebooks. I noticed that um, when you link gradebooks, that's more of a middle school option so that the same assignments can be uh, populated in your other gradebooks without you having to recreate these assignments over and over again. But that's not something we need. So if you have your math and history gradebooks linked, then whatever assignments you add to math will be added to history. So that's not something that elementary needs. So do not link your gradebooks. Okay. So I'm going to go into Manage Gradebook, which is where you would be directed as soon as um, you add a gradebook. So when you add a gradebook, um, you can use a school template, but that one is a rubric-based gradebook. And that would be great if you're going to manually input all of your grades. But if you want to import from Google Classroom, then um, you would follow these steps. So make sure you have your quarters, not the whole year and um, click this one here so that it can be tied to your roster. Here you can put whatever name you want. Uh, it was suggested that we make one gradebook per subject. Okay, then you're going to go to your options. Again, you would only click rubric-based uh, scale for your gradebook if you are going to manually import all of your, not import, sorry, if you're going to manually enter all of your grades. Um, otherwise, do not click there. You can weight assignments by category if you would like. Um, I like to apply scores immediately so that the students can see them quickly. Um, you also would want to add drop students automatically when loading scores by class page. What this does is that um, every five minutes, it's going to check your roster to see if, if any new students were added or dropped so that it can add them for you. Um, display the final mark. So if um, you want to be able to see whether they got a one, two, three, or four, and parents can see that. And then if you want to go ahead and hide your drop students so that they're not showing up all the time in your gradebook. Okay, categories. You have to have at least one category, but you don't have to separate your work into different categories. I just have classwork and tests. Then here are your assignments. So you can go here to add assignments. I do not import assignment into this gradebook. Um, it's easier, I find, to create the, um, the space or the placeholder here on Aries and then import. But we'll skip this part for now. You would want to go to manage students and you're going to add your students uh, from your roster and you want to add all students. Okay. And sometimes that will get stuck on the screen adding students. So what I do is I just um, close the tab and open it up again and my students um, are added. I don't know if that happens to others. Here in your final marks, you should be able to see that we have the one, two, three, four, and you can make any changes um, as you see fit as far as what percentages equal what mark. Um, you can also restore your school recommended defaults. Narrative grades we do not use. Um, rules is if you want to drop the lowest grade or something like that. And then um, backups are if you want to back up your gradebooks, just in case stuff gets deleted and then you, or you make you know a mistake and then you want to just restore. All right. So now that your gradebooks have been made, I like to go up here to scores by class. Okay. Um, and it lets you see all of your scores. You can also um, switch to a different gradebook. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into a science gradebook, just because. I have some assignments that I haven't imported their scores so that I can show you how that works. So um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new assignment because this is what you would do. You could go here to assignments. You could click add assignment. Okay. You're going to type the name of the assignment as it's going to appear in your gradebook or for students as well. So I'm going to call this um, lesson 2.6. And this is formative. It, it doesn't really matter in the points-based gradebook whether it's formative or summative. They all um, are calculated. You could put an assigned date. This was October 2nd. 
Okay, and then the number of points possible. This should match the number of points possible you had on Google Classroom. So make sure that that matches. So this one was worth 100 points. I like making all of my assignments worth 100 points just so that um, they are the same. Then make sure that you go here to add standards. This is what's going to help it populate into your report card. So you're going to want to, in this drop down menu, make sure that you have report card standards and your grade level. And that way, as you can see, these look these should look familiar. They should look like um, the categories in our report card. So you're going to add the standards um, that match that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put science as well as informational text because I want it to populate into both of those categories. And I'm going to click OK. You can then save and add new if you're adding a lot at a time or save and close. Then this is going to refresh to add the new assignment. Okay, so that assignment is now here. When you click on that assignment, you could go to enter scores. I'm gonna go to show more, and then a button should appear here that says import from Google. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click the Google Classroom that I want the assignment to come in from. Um, if you have several, then make sure you click the correct one. And then all of the assignments will populate. And um, this is the one, and I'm gonna click Confirm. And then it's going to import all of the scores that you've already enter, entered into Google Classroom onto here. And if there's any students that didn't have a score or their assignment was missing, then it will tell you that it was not able to import scores for those students. So um, 17 were imported, the rest were errors, it says. So you click OK, and then the scores have been imported. And if um, the score was not out of 100, it would then calculate the percentage out of 100 anyway. And then based on your final mark scale, it would determine what mark um, they have total in the classroom so far. So I'm going to go ahead and click, is grading completed? This um, turns any empty scores into missing assignments. And I like doing this because if the parent is signed up or the student is signed up on Aries, then it will have a count for how many assignments are missing. Okay, so that's how you do that part. Now, how does this transfer into your report card once you are done grading? So we go up here back to our menu and I'm gonna go to standard-based grades for our report cards. It's taking a while to load. There it goes. All right, so I'm here in our report card. And um, you see that this is um, your student list. So I can load grades from Gradebook. Then if you've already written some things down and you want to overwrite, you can go ahead and do this so that anything you import now overwrites what you had put down before. Um, if you don't want it to overwrite anything you already did, then don't click this box, okay? Um, which grade level, and then it says here, any students that were enrolled in are on this date. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Next. Which grade books do you want it to load from? I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my grade books. Click Next. Okay, so um, do you wanna include your summative and formative assignments? or do you want it to only use summative assignments? So that depends on how you've set up your grade books. Um, sometimes some teachers set it up so that um, all the, the students and the parents can see all assignments, but they only want the summative assignments to count on the report card. I want all of my assignments to count, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave the first one. Then it's asking you about a scale again. So what do you want? Um, the marks to represent. And so this is already set up. This one down here is for the language. I, I'm i not going to transfer grades into those. I didn't assign any standards to those um, for right now. So then I leave all the other stuff blank. 
and I'm only going to worry about the one, two, three, fours for mine. Um, it's up to you if there's some other markings that you wanted to put. For example, the yes or no, are they meeting grade level standards? Are you know, did you assign that as a standard in your assignments? If you did not, then it wouldn't populate anyway. Maybe you had uh, here PBS assignments attached as standards, and so you would put your scales here. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this scale this way, and I'm gonna click next. Okay, and so then it shows you what it would look like based on um, your assignments. So these are the standards that I have assignments attached to. So you see informational text, and it tells you where the percentage is coming from, what grade book. Um, so then here it shows you their total. So as you can see, my informational text has a total from history as well as from science, and they're blended together to give um, that percentage. So it's going to transfer all of these grades for all of your students. These are all the students. And um, notice that it also adds the slash mark or backslash if you did not have any assignments for that standard. OK? So those are all of them. And you can click Import if you're ready to go. Um, or down here, you could click Cancel. So that's how you would transfer then your grades into your report card. I clicked Cancel because I am not done updating my gradebook. And then after these all populate, they would show up for each student. And then you can go in manually and enter any markings for any category that you did not assign a standard based on your gradebook. Thank you.